Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you're watching. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing? Episode 15. Episode 15. This is absolutely awesome. And look at the world that we're building behind us. Look, absolutely fantastic. I am so, so in love with this world. And to think where it came from was just a small little island. And we broke a block and it sent us to the nether. And we came back with basalt. That was it. And all of this, all of this beautifulness. Well, it's a whole lot of grey at the moment. But all this beautifulness has come from that little, little speck of island all the way back in episode one. It's absolutely awesome. I am so in love. Anyway, guys, how are we doing? I hope you have been well this last week. Today, I am not going near the mansion today. The, the, the mansion hurt. Um, I have my only pair of wings. I need to do an embust and go and get some more wings. But to be fair, I've been needing to go back and get more shulker boxes anyway. So we do need to go and do that at some point. Not today in this episode. But we do need to go and do that. Um, when I stopped recording, I walked around the mansion a little bit where I'd lit up so I could sort of walk around and not worry too much. And a zombie walked past with my helmet and my boots and my sword. Um, he, I really wished he had had my wings on as well, but he didn't. Um, so I managed to get back my helmet, my boots, and my sword, which was absolutely awesome. Um, I'm now working on all the other items. I've spent about three hours, it was, trading just to get these three tools back. Um, I now have a full um, shulker box of emeralds, which is quite amusing. That's just from coming to get the XP to be able to enchant these. And... Yeah, the, the bow the bow's all right at the moment. It it's still in need of a lot more enchantments, but um, uh, it's it's doing me for now. It, it's fine for now. Um, so yeah, we 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 we're back to some sort of safety, if you like, some sort of where we were before the beginning of last episode. Today's episode, I want to start on an automated sheep wool farm. And this was a suggestion that came up um, when discussing episodes and what I want to build with um, Toby. And I was saying about the fact that I wanted to build a, an automated sheep farm and he said, well, why don't you do it? So we're going to build it. This episode, we are building an automated sheep farm. So what it will do is it will automatically shear and collect the wool for me. I will have to do nothing once this is set up um, and eventually will lead into the storage system that is kind of underneath the, the building behind me um, and yeah all automatic completely done and the only dye that I don't have is orange and that's because you need an orange tulip to be able to get the orange dye and as you can see there is no flower biome anywhere to be found so we kind of on the mercy of the wandering trader at the moment coming along with that um, unless we can find a flower biome where we can sort of spam bone meal until we get an orange one but that's that's fine we i'm okay with missing one for the moment um i have also started on a, a design i don't know how much i like it at the moment but this here this is kind of like a design for the wall. Um, let's get a slower run in. So running it sort of along there, but breaking this wall up with um, stone, actual proper stone block, um, maybe some andesite when I got some stone masons, um, and just break this sort of solid mass of bricks up um, and sort of place in a few other colours. Or, or variants of stone in there just to make it look a little bit more textured um let me know what you think um and if you've got any other ideas just drop them in the comments and um i'll have a look at those and see what we we go from there but i think it's about time that we start putting a, a surround on this on this build it's been sat here with its in interior done for long enough long enough um 
Also, um, I've also been working on uh, my personal website. And if you take a look at this little clip here, it's showing you my website is now live. I have um, all of my socials, all of everything is up there. Anything you want to know about me is there. Um, I am starting a weekly blog or I'm, I'm hopefully going to be updating a weekly blog there. Um, and also you can buy my merch directly from my website and that will all be updated um, over the next coming weeks. Uh, so keep your eyes out for the merch. But if you wouldn't mind going over there, giving it a little, little look over. And uh, it also has a Google business account associated to it. So if you wouldn't mind going and reviewing my uh, my account, that would also be absolutely amazing. And um, I would very, very much appreciate that. Let's get on with our episode, shall we? Okay, and down on the lower level here, um, that's the, the trading hall up there. That's the wall we were just looking at. Just on this lower level, I've, I've kind of placed a few slabs out here just to, to give us a little bit of working room. And I was thinking about putting our little sheep farm here um, and making it more like a little, like a barn kind of style where the roof kind of slopes up. All of this is built out of some sort of wood um, and barrels and such. Um, but... Yeah, I was thinking that that would look pretty cool where it would just come out from the wall and just kind of have like a little shelter to it and all of the sheep just sit in here doing its thing and eventually all of the, the hoppers can lead into one over here maybe where it will then drop down into a, a water channel where everything else is going to accumulate and go up into our storage system. Um, so I think this would be quite a quite a good little place for our farm to go. It really isn't that complicated to build. Um, I'm just going to chuck a couple of torches up here because as soon as it gets night time, this is deadly. Uh, we're getting all sorts of things spawning here. So um, I will now walk you through how each one of these modules runs. They are all identical. There is nothing really special about how they run. Um, I have pretty much everything ready to go. Uh, let's grab some more dirt. Let's, can I fit that in there? No, not quite. Um, okay, let's just chuck that in here for the minute. And string can come down into this one. There we go, right. So I've got most of my items that I need in here. Um, I don't have an end chest with me, so I'm going to take uh, the iron one with me as well. Okay, so let's go down into our little area here and we'll make a little setup just about here will do nicely. Um, yep, yeah, that looks about perfect for me. Uh, also, what we want is a crafting bench so we don't have to keep running back and forth, I think. So have we got one made up? Yes, we do. Okay, so let us start at the beginning um you need grass grass is the important thing here um and you will also need dirt now obviously you can build this in in whatever sort of style or iteration that you choose to do um very very simple way of building it um it's just you need to make sure you've got grass so let's go around all of these with a bit of dirt um, just a bit like this and what happens is the sheeps will eat the uh, grass grow their coat back um, and when they grow their coat back an observer will pay attention to the block um, that it's standing on and it will be looking at this block and it will be like oh that's just changed and then it will then fire a redstone signal which will then shear the sheep again so now all we need to do is just come in through here with a little bit of grass um the grass can grow up um at its own pace there's no big sort of deal to that it can just do its thing um that's why i kept oh i think i'm oh no it's over there 
Um, that's why I kept uh, that little patch of green just here, just so that there was grass to hand whenever I needed it. Um, which has been quite handy, to be honest. For for these sorts of jobs. Right, let's pick up all this dirt, because this, this dirt is actually quite valuable to us. Um, as you saw in the chest, I had been grinding. I just, this area here that I've built for the storage room is actually phenomenal for this. Um, putting coarse dirt down, hoeing, and then bringing it all back up again. Right, so now we have this all in. Um, what we now need to do is get some barrels and some hoppers. I think I've got some hoppers already, but we need some barrels. And I think barrels is just uh, slabs, if I remind myself. No, it's not. Um, okay. Is it planks and barrels? Yes, it's planks and barrels. Okay. Have I got enough? No. Okay. Yes. Yes, I do. I can make one. Well, oh, two pieces of barrel. Two pieces of barrel. Uh, uh, uh. Right, there we go. So, let's go back down to here. Um, and we'll do this one just here. And we'll move that. And we'll chuck a barrel there like so. Um, and I think in here I have some hoppers. Yes, I do. So we'll just take one for the minute. Uh, we'll want a minecart hopper and we'll want a rail. Um, so let's take these up. I should probably... Have I got a slab? Yes, I do. Let's chuck a slab here just to get up easier and pe easy peasy peasy wheezy. Right, let's get rid of our warped... Uh, ni uh, warped block there. Um, right, so we need to get rid of this slab here. Pop a hopper in there. Now, obviously, when you're building this in a normal world, you wouldn't have half slabs um, like I have here. You would build this into the ground, however your your setup is. Um, you put a rail on top of the hopper. You put your minecart hopper on top of that. So this is what we're looking like so far. So you've got your barrel, your hopper pointing into your barrel, your minecart hopper on the rail. So now just break the rail. So the hopper minecart just sits down onto that hopper nicely um now you want to put some blocks down behind it it doesn't matter what block it is um because to be honest it's probably not going to get seen a whole lot um if you want to put something pretty there by all means put something pretty there but it, it's really not going to get seen so let's chuck some just cobblestone because i've got that by the the bucket loads um now let's build up a little bit so that one there is going to be the piston like so and then we'll grab one piston and one lever okay and then we'll come here and we'll put the piston like so all right so the piston pointing down on top of this uh we'll get you know what we've got grass to spare let's put another grass block in there we'll put a grass block like this get your lever fire it let it go now that is our um minecart hopper picking up on that block so we let go of that piston and get rid of all of these temporary blocks now our piston is now in here so this block here now picks up everything that we drop into it now let's get rid of this block here because we no longer need that one um we also don't need the piston anymore uh, we want one observer and one dispenser and one piece of dust. One piece of dust. All right. So there's our. There you go. You can see the, the image of the minecart hopper there. So now, if we put that into here, um, and then we'll put a block on the back of the observer, and then the dispenser out like this, and then we'll pop redstone dust just like that. When that block there updates, uh, when the sheep stand in here and he noms on that, that will then fire some um, shears that we're going to put into here. Um, in fact, we can do that together now. We can just make up a couple of shears. Um, so one, two, three. Okay, so we've got some shears. Um, we can chuck all of those into here. Um, 
when when the sheep noms on this bit here it will then update through the observer fire this which fires this and then um automatically shears gets picked up and then sucked into our minecart hopper which will end up down into this barrel that is it guys that is the farm and all i've got to do is repeat that another 15 times and that's our farm done so it's turning night so let's go and have a little sleep and we'll carry on okay so i have just pushed one of our sheeps from down in the bottom there uh, up through the water bubble elevator here and he's up here so we're just using one of our leads um now what we need to do here um is if i break that one actually is to coax him up here and get him inside yeah okay so what we'll do is we'll break that and there he goes boom now he's in let's take a, the lead off let's put our trapdoor back on and there he is he's in there so there's our lead let's get that back out and that's it that's him in um nothing too exciting um nothing terribly hard to do either so all we then need to do is to choose what color he's going to be um i will probably dye them all at the end so that i can sort of make it what i want it to be oh there you go it just happened right in front of us he just ate the grass sheared him off automatically and there's our wool so it all happened the blink of an eye and that was it him done perfect i might change that top cobblestone there for a sea lantern actually just so there's a bit of light in here um because otherwise it's going to be very dark i think yeah okay i'm going to do that and i'm going to repeat this over and over again until we have a bit of a farm going wish me luck okay so we're over in the end a little quick change of pace um we're gonna go and spawn the wither uh we're gonna go and kill the wither so if you are not aware of this little it's a bug really but they've just never patched it this has been in the game ever since i can remember um and you basically trap the wither into the bedrock of the portal so let's uh let's get down so basically what i've done here is i have made a little room down here i don't know if uh the slabs will stay there i'm kind of hoping it stops the uh enderman coming down i've never i've never tried it with these slabs in but i'm pretty sure his explosion will explode those off the floor but you know we don't know until we try let's science this um so all we need to do is make sure that the tail block that of the wither is here is underneath the middle block of the portal um because we're going to stick his head right into the middle of the portal where that sort of pillar of bedrock is um and then he will take damage from that and me slapping him with my sword um and it's all about getting the nether star and he drops ancient debris as well so as you can see i'm going to run away quickly because he's going to explode he is in that middle so let's run out of the way let him explode there he goes very loud and then we just stand here and we spam him and he didn't blow up any of the slabs which is actually really awesome which should mean that the enderman won't come down here and then i won't accidentally look at them and then accidentally be deaded And there we go and we got ancient debris yes our first ancient debris oh look at that goodbye with a hello debris yes please so that's a random drop this one this one's a random drop um and just in case you're worried it does nothing to the portal absolutely nothing so it's a really good way of farming the wither um so let's just quickly do the other one that we've got enough for one more wither so 
let's chuck him in and uh, we might as well get another star. And considering it's a rare drop, we've just got another one. That's two ancient debris out of two withers. That is absolutely awesome. Right. Let's get back over to the other world. So if you're not sure, nether stars make beacons. Beacons give you buffs like regeneration, strength, haste. Not that we need haste in Skyblock, but it gives you haste as well. So it's they're really, really useful bits of kit. So let's grab some of them. Let's grab some of them and then make ourselves some beacons. Look at that! We got two beacons! I can't believe we've got two beacons and we've got two ancient debris. That is absolutely spectacular. We've only got two um, skulls left now, so it's not like we can go get any more right now. Um, and then we use iron blocks, which we have a whole bunch of down in our farm here. Uh, to make a pyramid base um, It's just a decision where we're going to put it. Maybe we'll put it out here Should we should we make a beacon out here? Yeah, let's do that. Let me go and grab the blocks and then we'll build a beacon Okay, um, so I realized when I got back up here that this platform is quite close to the uh, iron farm And I don't want to interrupt the iron farm. So I'm gonna build the the beacon up the top here So let's start here so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And a couple more. Right, so um basically what we've got to do here is make a pyramid. Um and I have all sorts of built this up into a very awkward place. Uh, there we go that'll do it not worried about two blocks because we have a whole farm worth so this is uh, a nine by nine square and then we build it up to make a pyramid um, so let me just build this pyramid and you can have a quick time lapse of me doing that like so and then we grab one of our beacons now we can make this slightly bigger in one direction and put all of our beacons on top but just for now just to get this going i'm gonna plop one down and there it goes the beaconator and the beacon love that so in here we can get speed haste resistance jump boost and strength now we can have double that um so i need to just grab an iron ingot uh so we can have double that um or we can have one of these and then regeneration so no matter what happens to our hearts we always regenerate um jump boost is always quite useful speed is really useful resistance we don't really need resistance because we kind of mob proof everything anyway um so i think i'm gonna go with jump boost like so now we should up in the top right hand corner see jump boost um did i did i not select resistance as well there we go so if i press this one and get rid of the book now you can see it's just continually bouncing uh jump boost and regeneration for us that is absolutely awesome what a massive step we've just taken to get a beacon that is incredible guys i am so happy with that absolutely amazing and we can change the color of the beam but we haven't got enough dye to do that right now um but so jump boost basically gives you just that little bit extra boost on it i could put it on a double boost but i don't think we need it right now um and i will extend that to put the second beacon in in a in a short while first of all we need to get our sheeps in don't we let's get our sheeps in
Okay, so we have all of our sheep in. Uh, this dude is still going, um, shearing his sheep, shearing his wool for me. Um, I've taken all the redstone off of the back of these ones, as you can see in my pockets. Um, purely because only these ones here have got their colour. I should have just left theirs on, to be fair, but I forgot. Um, so they've got their colour. They were naturally that colour from down there. So all of these guys here are all going to be dyed one colour or another. I've got all the colours here, except for um, white, uh, orange. That's the only one I don't have, and that's because I don't have an orange tulip. Uh, and also, I've added the second beacon up there. I, I, I kept looking at it, and I was like, I've got it in my pocket. I'm carrying it around. Let's just go and grab the extra iron and, and build the, temp uh, the pyramid a little bit bigger. So, we did. Um, now, I just want to stop this dude from making white. How is his shears doing, anyway? So, look, all of that wool has come from barely any use on the shears, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so, I'm going to leave the end dude white because um, I think he goes quite nicely with these dudes. So, let's go... Let's put this dude brown. And then let's do... Um, ooh, such a decision, isn't it? Let's go green. And then lime green. And then blue. And then uh, light blue. And then cyan. And then uh, yellow. Yellow would have been better at the end, actually, but never mind. Pink. Purple. Magenta red and then that one leaves that one for orange when uh, when we get orange look at that look at that prettiness isn't it pretty that's absolutely awesome all right let's go and chuck some redstone behind all of these guys uh just like so um and then the next time they eat the grass um or the grass grows back even um then they will I'm going to leave this one off because he's going to be orange. Um, and I'm going to take his wool. I'm going to deposit that in. The oh, someone just got sheared. Red. Red got sheared. Go red. Um, so, yeah, the white's going to live down here. So we'll chuck the white wool in there. That is awesome, guys. Look at that. We have an automated sheep farm. Easy peasy. Squeezy. Uh, oh, yep. What was that? Cyan? Oh, look at them all go now. They're all having a little go. Pink. Oh, and he's gone again. Boom. Thank you very much. Love that. That is such an awesome, awesome little passive farm that we've got. Just need to put a little bit of a slanted roof on here. Uh, I'll do that off camera. That won't take me very long. I just need to harvest a couple more trees. As you can see, I've planted a few more. But that looks really awesome, guys. Um, and just quickly... I thought I'd give you a look because I did say we were going to do this um, in the last episode and I completely forgot. So I've come over and I've done it. We now have fishies in our pond. Hi fishies! Hi fishies! How you doing fishies? Look at them all. I have got so many more buckets of fish though. But I thought that'll do for, for our little space that we've got. Um, and also... I have started populating our villager trading hall. Um, I've put all the fishermen up there now. So this is pretty much fishermen up here. And we've got some clerics down here. And then also over here, uh, we have a whole load of stonemasons. And they are all opened up to the same level. Um, I've got uh bricks bricks for days from where i've traded with them to get them in um and we've also got tool smiths uh all the way through to here we've got one leather worker i'm never really going to use the leather worker if i'm being honest but i thought might as well have him um and then we've got the uh the armorers uh all the way through here they're the easy ones to do um i haven't really done a whole lot up here i've put some more um weaponsmiths in i haven't really gone into trading with them too hard yet i'm tempted to just like 
drop their trades and then trade with them because that makes it cheaper for me but yeah we're starting to get some population in here i'm going to put some cartographers in here looms i want to put the loom guys in here the um what are they uh shepherds i think they're shepherds that work with the loom um because they sell dye one of their one of their um trades is a dye trade so that would be absolutely awesome for us um so i'm going to put some loom guys in there and hopefully we can get orange out of that one um i've cleared out this this area now because if i'm honest we've got all of the um the villagers doing it automatically for us um i'm kind of hoping that they have been doing that passively while i've been building um but yeah so i've got speed and i've got jump on here as you can see there's the there's the beacon it's got that extra one block on the end of there which then gives me that space for that one up there um a beacon can have up to four so i can extend this out by one more length and put two more beacons here or here whichever way i go um which will then give me all of them and i can get all of the boosts all in one go but we need more wither skeleton skulls for that which means more grinding which i might do if we're getting that amount of uh, ancient debris from it uh melon seeds oh man did i trash one of the melons um so yeah it's been a really cool episode i've killed the wither a couple of times uh yes i did right there um we've killed the wither a couple of times we've got a couple of beacons on the go i'm gonna ditch these because i don't want them um we've got a couple of beacons on the go we've decided on a wall sort of design ish we've populated some more in here uh, we've got the rainbow look at them all cut up look look at them all look at them all have you been uh you've not have you you've got to wait for your grass to grow okay but look at them all go look yeah they are all coming in that is apart from you you're biting oh you need your grass um so this farm would be better outside of a, a covering where those trap doors can see daylight that will then help the grass grow quicker um the the grass under here will grow quicker if it's in natural light but if i'm honest it's a passive farm and if i'm being honest it's only me on this world so it's not such a big deal but anyway guys we're gonna call that a day um we've done a lot we have been all over the place and done a lot I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed seeing how this very simple but very effective farm goes together and killing the wither, the little trick to killing the wither easily um, and farming him. And uh, hope we uh, we continue on our streak and I'm going to put um, a poll up on my socials for our next build. It's uh, either going to be an enderman farm, a witch farm or um, a nether fortress farm so i'm going to put that poll out when this video goes live that poll will go out and it will go out again during the week or i see if i can run it all the way through till about sort of tuesday and uh we'll see how that goes um i hope to see you then guys thank you very much for joining me i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you again soon uh bye, -bye, -bye now